In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some twenty years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master.
That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. The Moonview Tower door. Will you check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but... <laughs> Nobody fixed that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to, long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way, to run from the faded bloodline, is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then.
The divine air. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, 
I'll find a way to fit them to the Shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir... Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Hirata, I must pay my respects. Lord Kuro. Lady Emma, are there other Hirata survivors? There are very few of us left. I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamations? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. You'll keep on fighting until you're a monster, incapable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to corrupt the lives of men. Look at this mountain of bodies. Ashina cannot be defended by normal means. Not anymore. I could never be as strong as you, Lord Genichiro. I do not yet know what it is I should do. It has been a long time since that happened. Wait all you like. It'll do you no good. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. 
please offer it to Buddha for his sake. Uh, who is it? Is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami, a vassal of the Harada family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but... The medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes. That will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. Oh? Did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before, if only a little. Take this. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you.
Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Son of... Owl. What happened? Thieves. At Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The Divine Error. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? That was three years ago. What is this? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. I don't remember any of this. But it appears this is the past. Those... worthless bastards. Hello. <coughs> you are... Shinobi, if... If I'm not mistaken, take the shinobi axe from, from the temple and split their skulls wide open, please. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey! Who... Who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. I pray it is of help. Thank you. You. You're the young master Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Father. Uh, it's you. I'm afraid I... Made a bit of a blunder. Perhaps the years have finally caught up with me. Ah, don't bother tending to my wounds, no point. <clears throat> it's too late. Uh, Wolf, you must take this. This is the key to the secret temple. 
In the estate mansion, you'll find him. The divine heir. Going through the front is not an option. You'll never get past the fire. Yes, sir. Perhaps the cliff's just outside of here. Yes. Return to the estate entrance. You look for a side route along the cliffs. Take the back entrance through the cemetery. That's your way in. Understood. Wolf! Never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The Master is absolute. Wolf, protect your Master with your life. <coughs> <coughs> Father. The young master might need you, Rogue Shinobi. Go to him, will you? You... The young master's... I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dreadful illusion techniques. Without a snap seed, it cannot be overcome. Take this. It's not much, but it's what I have. Father? Mother? The butterflies. Everyone is gone. My lord. Illusion technique. Ah. It's been a long time. Son of Owl. Butterfly. Leave us. Who are... Do what must be done. Yes.
my behalf. I cannot throw away such loyalty. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. Lord Kuro. It is time, Lady Emma. Yes, I know. Master Genichiro is waiting, is he not? I will return to the top of Ashina Castle. Well, that reed whistle we used before. This time, I will use it to call on you. you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Here! For Ashina! Lady Emma, tell me, what has caused the state of this man? The rejuvenating waters, that is what it is called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma. I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. How is Grandfather? Lord Ishinis. It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? Divine Heir, I'll ask you once more. Accept me to your immortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Your victory that day means nothing. He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. My lord, I have come for you. This will only take a moment. Let's see. For as long as you are alive, the dragon's blood can never be mine. Face me. Shinobi. I didn't think I'd see you.
fine air. Impressive, Shinobi of the Divine Air. But you deserve better. Would you not answer to a different lord? Heresy. Heresy, you say? If it is for the sake of preserving Ashina... I will seize any manner of heretical strength. I will endure any burden. Behold the lightning of Tomoe. You were victorious, I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A- oh. Lord Kenichiro, is this the rejuvenating waters? Ah, <laughs> oh, Shina. This land is everything to me. For her sake. I will shed humanity itself. Resurrection. Yes. Indeed. At long last, I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. I give you my thanks. Who, exactly? Do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well, that was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded, but... There's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. I have come for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wish to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, 
Undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath, the rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot, they all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? I cannot. To protect you, the divine heir, that was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. Wolf, look at this. It's an ancient record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the Divine Realm. Yes, it is my belief that with the dragon tears, it may be possible to sever the dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there. It belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I returned to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the Divine Realm? That is my belief. Wolf, let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, And you can use this window to reach the roof. About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Sake. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. 
The bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think? Sekiro. You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Mm. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Sempo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. How do I get there? The abandoned dungeon just outside of Ashina Castle. If you can pass through its waterways, you should find your way. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. <sighs> That's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? What do you mean? You two cross blades, did you not? Uh huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the Lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that it's a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it. Probably Dojun. Hmm. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. <clears throat> oh, this dust is 
awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said, the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade, I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. A flower? First, read this. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the Fountainhead Aroma. A place where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes. Indeed, the Sunken Valley may be the place the Fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this Sunken Valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the White Serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the Sunken Valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. My lord. This is for you. This is a document written by one who sought the Fountainhead Aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. It is beneath Ashina. Now that you mention it, about the well near the Moonview Tower, I've read it may have some connection with the bottomless hole. This may be worth investigating. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. A place to throw oneself. I've seen a place where that might be possible. You have? There is a great, seemingly bottomless hole in the abandoned dungeon outside Ashina Castle. An old woman there, she told me to throw myself in. Hmm. But the place you throw yourself into... You believe it's connected to somewhere? Yes. I felt a faint wind blowing in from the direction of the Tori Gate. I think I will try jumping into it. It's worth a try. But do be careful. Will you be cast out? Or throw yourself in? What? If you wish to go to the very depths of Ashina. Then you'd best cast yourself out. Over there. The depths of Ashina are over there.
three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. Yet another who is lost in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission, and wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys depicted on the panels at the whole entrance. Once you have done so, the Divine Child's voice will reach you. Why do you seek this place? I seek the mortal blade. Do you know of the blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet you still wish to attempt this. I do. I see. Very well. If you are prepared, you may gaze upon the blade. Are they not loath to die? <gasps> How? How are you? Your eye. I see. You carry the curse of the dragon's heritage. The mortal blade, without question. I accept its power. I see you serve the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Why do you seek the mortal blade? I wish to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I have read about this. I have read there is a way to sever the dragon's heritage. Mm. Which means the divine heir begrudges the power of the dragon's heritage. That's right. How strange fate can be. I am one of the children of the rejuvenating waters, created by those who would stop at nothing to achieve immortality. My false dragon's blood was created by man. Children? So there are many of you. I am the only one who survived the process. The others are laid to rest here 
I see. I do not know if it is right to sever the ties of immortality, but the dragon's heritage undeniably corrupts the lives of men. And I share the heir's feelings about that truth. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, I have decided to assist you. Please, hold out your hand. What? Bless us with bountiful harvest. This is... rice? There you are. Rice is a precious thing. It tastes better the more you eat it, and restores one's vigor. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Heir. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. I didn't expect you to find it so quickly. Yes. It was given to me by the Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters, at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes. Many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. It's you. The Divine Heir and Lady Emma, they're being targeted. Can I ask you to protect them? I will. To think I'd have to ask for your help is truly... I remember you well. I heard stories of your death, yet here you are. What are you plotting, Al? Plotting? I would do no such thing. Now, my lord. I must ask that you accompany me. This old bird has but one desire. To protect the divine heir from those that might take his esteemed blood. So, the dragon's heritage has seduced you too. Then there is nothing to discuss. Take your leave. I would, my lord, but... I'm so stunned by this view. I'd like to take it in just a while longer. I'll leave when I've had my fill. Father, to think you were still alive. That was my design, but the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power of the Divine Heir brought me back. That's it. What? The Divine Heir's power, the Dragon's blood, must be mine. Father... Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the Code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. From this moment, he is your master no more. Forsake the Divine Heir. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command, and forsake the Divine Heir. I cannot do as you ask. You... what? A shinobi, showing the likes of... 
compassion. Unthinkable. Such a miserable display. Uh, why, boy? Why can't you understand your father's will? Have you forgotten the Shinobi Code? A code must be determined by the individual. This is what I've decided. Just as my master did. Since we did this, give me your see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <gasps> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Everblossom. Lady Emma spoke of it once. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that was brought over from the Divine Realm by Lord Takeru. It once bloomed behind this castle. However, when a branch was cut off and the flowers taken, the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So this is that branch? Yes, I believe so. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes, that's right, Wolf. I don't want to lose them, but if I were to choose the path of returning the dragon's heritage, it may come to pass that I would have to leave all of you. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> My friends, listen, he is actually quite kind. He gave me this. Hello? Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air. I didn't hear you come in. It is thanks to you that I've been able to have a deep conversation with my friends. With the children of the Rejuvenating Waters? Yes. There is something I would like to discuss. I believe we should aim not to sever the dragon's heritage, but instead to return it to its rightful place. Return the dragon's blood? That's right. The dragon's heritage was set free from its homeland, and it drifted here to Japan. Its power was never meant for this land. Until something is done, it will continue to corrupt the lives of those who encounter it. 
The dragon's heritage and those connected to it. It is only right that they return home, to the west, to the birthplace of the divine dragon. However, there is one problem. I am unsure of the exact destination. Who would know? Perhaps the High Priest of Senpo Temple. Or... And he is... He's the founder of Senpo Temple. I wonder how old he actually is. He can be found in a narrow cave, not far from the Inner Sanctum. Shinobi of the Divine Air. Yes? This path differs from that of the one to sever immortality. I do not wish to force my opinion upon you. Should you wish to return the dragon's heritage, then perhaps you should seek out the High Senpo Priest. I'll think about it. Shinobi of the Divine Air, have you perhaps met with the High Priest of Senpo Temple? I found him. He was dead. The High Priest was infested. How could this come to be? I do not know. However, he left this note. I will take a look. Hmm, I see. Consuming two persimmons of the serpent will allow one to become a cradle for the divine heir. This will make it possible to return the dragon's heritage to its homeland. I, I shall become the cradle. You're sure of this? Of course. I am the only surviving divine child of the rejuvenating waters. Death does not come easily to me. Shinobi of the Divine Air, if you wish to take the path to return the dragon's heritage, then bring me two persimmons of the serpent. Where should I begin? I believe it is said that the liver of a great serpent is stained red like a persimmon. Shinobi of the Divine Air, have you acquired both persimmons of the serpent? Yes, I've found them. This shade of red, it is as I expected. A persimmon is an apt comparison. You're actually going to eat them? Of course. Doing so will allow me to become a cradle to return the dragon's heritage to its home. However, I hesitate to eat them in front of you. Please come back after some time. No. Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air? Are you there? You, your eyes. Ah. Uh, you have returned, Shinobi of the Divine Air. It appears I have succeeded in becoming the Cradle. Could you please take my hand? Yes. What? It is cold. Much like an ice house. Which is why. See? My tears. They freeze as they flow down my face. These frozen tears. Take them. Frozen tears? Does this mean... Yes. I believe this is what the text referred to as cold dragon tears. The divine heir must drink them together with the dragon tears of the divine realm. If he does so, I believe Lord Kuro will be able to rest within the cradle. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, 
In Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine heir is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The mortal blade. Yes. Here you are. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. My lord, I have procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. My lord. I have procured the ingredients for the aroma. Oh, so that is... the stone for the Fountainhead incense? What a peculiar shape it is. Yes. It had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes. There was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro. That place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm. I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Hmm. So this is the Fountainhead Incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish.
the divine realm. Lord Ishin, what happened? Lord Ishin has succumbed to his illness and passed away. I see. I'm sure you sensed it. The Central Forces have taken this opportunity to attack the castle. And the Divine Heir? Here. This key. My Lord has escaped the castle through the secret passage? Yes, Master Wolf. The secret passage can be found along the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. Lord Kuro escaped the castle through that secret passage, and should be waiting for you in the Silvergrass Field. Understood. The Nightjar have left smoke signals on the roofs under Lord Ishin's orders. The smoke should lead the way to Lord Kuro. Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. 
It's all right. One last time. Yes. Let's finish this. I will restore Ashina to glory! In the end, I was powerless, but... Ashina will rise once more. The dragon blood surging through her veins. With this, Ashina's long night comes to an end. Beautiful grandchild, this was your last wish. To see Ashina returned from the great beyond. Which means Sekiro. Destroy you. Count Sekiro.
farewell. Take the dragon tears. We must leave this place, my lord. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Everyone, it is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. Let us depart to the west. To the birthplace of the Divine Dragon.